Welcome to SEP 2000 demonstration video. In this video, we are showing general features of SEP 2000 with an emphasis on the ease of working with SEP. SEP 2000 offers unmatched analytical capabilities and is very simple to use. SEP 2000 uses object-based modeling concept for modeling of structures. SEP 2000 uses five different objects as modeling components to model the prototype structure. These objects are point objects, line objects, and area objects, solid objects, and link objects. A point object is a joint or a node. A line object is used to model columns, beams, braces, tendons, and cables. An area object is used to model floor slabs, domes, hyperbolic paraboloid cooling towers, shear walls, foundation mats, staircases, and ramps. A solid object is used to model those structural components which have large thickness and have larger extents as in a very thick table top of a turbo generator foundation or a concrete gravity dam. A link object is used to model linear as well as nonlinear behavior we may expect in the analysis. Opening and closing of gaps, like in pounding of two buildings and foundation uplift, are two such cases. Link objects are also used to model discreetly nonlinear elements like base isolators and dampers. Besides that, these can also be used to model eccentric connections of different structural components. In SAP 2000, modeling has several steps which are described next. Draw the modeling elements and assign these the sectional properties, specify load patterns and load cases, boundary conditions, run the analysis, design the structural elements and create a report. All this is accomplished in the graphical user interface and an input text file is not required. Graphical interface is intuitive and very easy to use. We will now show how a model can be generated. First step is to select a unit set you want to use. You can change it later if you need that. Go to right hand corner and select a unit set. Next, start the model by choosing file menu, new model option. SEP 2000 now shows a dialog box where you can choose a predefined template to model the structure of a category recognized by the name of the template. We select the template 3D trusses and in the next dialog box, we select Transition Tower 1 and accept the default input. Now press OK. SAP 2000 generates a model for the data given in the template of the Transition Tower 1. SAP 2000 uses a Cartesian coordinate system with XY plane as a horizontal and Z axis pointing vertically up. Alternatively, a cylindrical coordinate system can also be used. The same task can also be completed by defining grids and drawing line objects to model inclined horizontal and vertical components. We need to specify the loading and load cases at this stage, the model is in select and assign mode. Select an object and assign it something to model its expected behavior. And the assignment could be to specify point and member loads or to change properties of the objects or to change the output station or any other thing you want to alter in the model. 
we can zoom the model display by using mouse wheel to keep grids out of the view press control d together we will now apply load on the joints at the top to specify the loading coming from other components connected to the tower currently points are not visible choose tool button set display options and in joints column uncheck the option invisible to make the joints visible select the top nodes by drawing a small window or by directly clicking on the joint first click on the joint selects the joint and second click on the selected joint deselects it to apply joint loads choose assign menu joint loads forces in the next dialog box enter minus 6 kN in z direction minus means it is acting downwards the load is added to joints in the load pattern named as dead sap 2000 creates a dead named load pattern by default next create a new load pattern for wind load in x direction choose define menu load patterns and enter a new name choose its type select a code and use the option add new load pattern to add the load pattern wx use modify load pattern and specify the parameters for the wind load wind direction angle 0 is in x direction and 90 degrees is in y direction wind coefficients can be changed if required press okay to close the dialog box load patterns define the distribution of loads on the structural components and these are activated in a load case defined by the user a load case may have more than one load pattern included in the same load case now have a look on the load cases use define menu load cases and we can see three load cases named as dad model and wx in the list of load cases typically for a specified load patterns program generates a corresponding load case automatically dad and model named load cases are defined by sap 2000 by default select load case named as wx and press the button modify load case there are several things here which need an explanation stiffness to use is the stiffness to be used for analysis currently it is unstressed state and that means that sap 2000 will use only the mechanical stiffness worked out on the basis of objects extents sectional and material properties in other words the stiffness is not including the effect of axial loads present in the structural objects when a second order analysis is to be done to include p delta effect then this option can be used next see load case type using drop down list and it includes several types in brief multi step static and moving types are used for getting the response of a moving load modal type is used to compute free vibration modes and mode shapes and two options are available eigen vectors and ritz vectors 
Response spectrum type computes statistical response caused by acceleration loads. Time history type computes the dynamic response due to time varying loads. Time history response can be linear or nonlinear, and solution can be requested for mode superposition or direct integration methods. Buckling type computes linear buckling modes under a specific load set. Steady state and power spectral density analysis compute the response of the structure under the effect of harmonic or sinusoidal loads at one or more frequencies. Steady state type computes deterministic response and PSD type computes probabilistic response of the structure. Hyperstatic analysis is used to compute linear response for indeterminate structures under pre-stress loading. And in that all supports are removed, the structure is subjected to reactions coming from pre-stress loading. Now see the analysis types. Linear analysis is the most common type of analysis where loads are applied without dynamical effect. Force and deformation relationship is linear. Nonlinear analysis is used when the loads are applied without dynamical effect. It is generally used for cable analysis, pushover analysis, and to compute the stiffness of the structure for P-delta effects. Force and deformation relationship is nonlinear for this case. Nonlinear stage construction is used to compute the response of partially built structure. Load supplied option is used to include one or more load patterns in the same analysis. Force and acceleration loads can be applied. Acceleration loads are used for response spectrum in time history analysis cases. For starting the analysis, choose Analyze menu, set analysis options. Activate the degrees of freedom to be included in the analysis and choose a specific solver for running the analysis. Save the model so that the input we have specified so far is saved in a file. Choose Analyze menu, set load cases to run to include or exclude a specific load case from the analysis. Press run now button to run the analysis. Once the analysis is over, then the output can be viewed. Currently program is showing deformed shape. Bring the mouse cursor close to a joint and its deformation is shown. Use display menu, show deformed shape option and choose a specific load case or a combination to see the deformed shape of the structure for that. Use display menu, show forces to display analysis results for any force component for a specific load case or a combination. Display option can also be used to see the loads applied on structural components. Design the structural members, use design menu, steel frame design, preferences option and select the design code. Again use design menu, steel frame design, start design and SEP 2000 will start designing line objects and SEP 2000 will show the output with a color code.
right click on any line object to get the results for that specific line object. Interesting thing is that the user need not define design combinations as SEP2000 automatically defines these. If combinations are to be defined by the user, then use define menu, load combinations option to define these, but such combinations must be included in the design combination list. For seeing the results in tabular form, use display menu, show tables option. Select the load case or load combination results and select the item you want to get in tables. These tables can be exported to Excel if you need to do that. A report can be created for all results using file menu create report option. SAP 2000 will create the report which can be viewed by using Microsoft Word program. A customized report can be generated by using the option File Menu Advanced Report Writer. This completes part one of this video where we have shown you how to generate a model using a template and modify that to suit our objectives.